Kind of put the things in the wrong spot. But anyway, we're back. New York, still have all the, whoops, perfection that I want to do. But we still have to complete this mission, which was unexpected, at the very least. Just want to make sure. All right, awesome. All right, so perform success successful eavesdrop while moving. Is your sweaty linen bunching up round your nethers? Come to Miss Harrow's for the lightest and most comfortable of unmentionables. I heard what happened at the market. Boss wants everyone back at the shop. Says we strike tonight. He's worried about that business with the guards. I'm telling you, it's nothing. I haven't had a spot of trouble since I slipped away. Of course, I've taken care to keep my distance. I can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes. The ones who ended all this talk of revolution. They'll set us up like kings then. Troublemakers looking to upset the apple car. Some fool fill their heads with rubbish, ruining it for the rest of us good, good folk. Really? Of course. You and me and Hickey. Just some hard luck lads trying to survive in this cold, cruel world. <laughs> I love how it just stops working. Ah, shoot. I can just not get this, can I? Wants everyone back at the shop. Says we strike tonight. He's worried about that business with the guards. I'm telling you, it's nothing. I haven't had a spot of trouble. I heard what happened at the market. Boss wants everyone back at the shop. The widest assortment of dry goods, feed, and other staples call upon the good folk of Lock. I am never going to get this, am I? Ugh. Nuisance. Nonsense. Everyone back at the shop. Says we strike tonight. He's worried about that business with the guards. I'm telling you, it's nothing. I haven't had a spot of trouble since I slipped away. Of course, I've taken care to keep my distance. Can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes. The ones who ended all this talk of revolution. Magistrate Burns is offering a golden guinea for any information leading to the arrest. Of the nefarious high road. I didn't expect one of them to turn around. We're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes. The ones who ended all this talk of revolution. They'll set us up like kings, they will. Nah. Revolution. A bunch of troublemakers looking to upset the apple car. As some fool fill their heads with rubbish. Ruining it for the rest of us good folk. Good folk. Really? A 
bunch of troublemakers looking to upset the apple cart as some fool filled their heads with rubbish, ruining it for the rest of us good folk. Good folk? Really? Of course. You and me and Hickey. Just some hard luck lads trying to survive in this cold, cruel world. <laughs> I think the furthest we've gotten. I don't know how to do this one. Like, ugh, it keeps failing. Bitches everywhere. This is fucking horrible. I need like the New York Mercury. Get it here. I'm fucking sick of them. They turn around way too fucking much. God, seven seconds in and I'm already raging. What the hell? I heard what happened at the market. Boss wants everyone... Way, not far enough away. I'm fucking sick of this eavesdropping. Okay. I gotta be like super effing fast. Everyone back at the shop. As we strike tonight. Be worried about that business with the guards. I'm telling you, it's nothing. And that a spot is coming. Cool. to keep a distance. Can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes. The ones who ended all this talk of revolution. They'll set us up like kings. Can't go up too high. Fuck you. I'm sick of this. Oh my god, a simple fucking task. business with the guards. I'm telling you, it's nothing. I haven't had a spot of trouble since I slipped away. Of course, I'm taking care to keep my distance. I can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes. The ones who ended all this talk of revolution. 
They'll set us up like kings, they will. Nah, revolution. Bunch of troublemakers looking to upset the apple cart as some fool filled their heads with rubbish, ruining it for the rest of us good folk. Good folk? Really? Of course. You and me and Hickey. Just a hard luck plan trying to survive in this cold, cruel world. <laughs> Please go. gonna do it this is it this is, this is this is where it ends I can't do a moving Can't do a moving eavesdrop. Not when the buildings are a gall. Boss wants everyone back at the shop. Says we strike tonight. Be worried about that business with the guards. I'm telling you, it's nothing. I haven't had a spot of trouble since I slipped away. Of course, I'm taking care to keep the distance. Up. Can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes, the ones who ended all this talk of revolution. They'll set us up like kings. They will. Nah, revolution. Bunch of trouble to upset the appetite. Some fools fill their heads with rubbish. Ruining it for the rest of us good folk. Good folk? Really? Of course. You and me and Hickey. Just some hard luck lads trying to survive in this cold, cruel world. <laughs> Can't do it. I just can't do it. Might as well. Everyone back at the shop. Says 
we strike tonight. Be worried about that business with the guards. I'm telling you, it's nothing. I haven't had a spot of trouble since I slipped away. Of course, I'm taking care to keep my distance. Can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes. The ones who ended all this talk of revolution. They'll set us up like kings, they will. <laughs> I've promised it's looking to upset the apple cart. As some fool filled their heads with rubbish. Ruining it for the rest of us good folk. Good folk? Really? Of course. You and me and Hickey. Just some hard luck lads trying to survive. Sixteen minutes, and I'm still on this. The fucking stupidest fucking objective ever. And because I can't get a crowd that's going their way. New summer designs at Miss Brackles, daring body sculpts and lighter petticoats to keep you rosy. Heard what happened at the market. Boss wants everyone back at the shop. We strike tonight. Be worried about that business with the guards. I'm telling you, it's nothing. I haven't had a spot of trouble since I slipped away. Of course, I'm taking care to keep my distance. Can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes. The ones who ended all this talk of revolution. They'll set us up like kings, they will. Nah, revolution. A bunch of troublemakers looking to upset the apple cart. Because some fool filled their heads with rubbish. Ruining it for the rest of us good folk. Good folk? Really? Of course. You and me and Hickey. Just some hard luck lads trying to survive in this cold, cruel world. <laughs> Go away. Well, I think I finally did it. With a super rage. What's this? Thomas Hickey? Might be. What's it to you? Oh, you're Hickey. Huh. Ain't supposed to be none of your kind left. Suppose I'd best be rectifying that then. Get him! You don't know what I am. No, he knows I'm an assassin. <laughs> Uh, did I just fail the objective? No. Got him. Thank God. Be still. You will do no more harm. You're a right fool meddling in affairs you know nothing about. Washington's the only thing keeping the Continental Army together. You kill him, you end all hope for freedom. Wrong, boy -o. With him gone, they'll have no choice but to promote Lee, and then... You are both under arrest! Oh, well, we were just having a scrap, officer. There ain't nothing wrong with uh, two men settling their differences the old-fashioned way. Can't we come to a... Quiet! What are the charges? Counterfeiting! I had nothing to do with that. Of course not! Listen, there are more important <laughs> things at stake here. Not. This man is planning to... <sighs> I have a feeling I don't have a choice in doing New York yet. Hmm. All right. Yep, I don't have a choice. You 
You missed me, sweetheart. I what? think I did. Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly Lee. for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Oh, and hate them. Am I understood? My father's jaw. What about this, the assassin? Yeah. He's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? We're just gonna let him rot. You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do you tell. Oh All boy. in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. Ooh. What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was going to handle that. We'll discuss this elsewhere. Whoops. <laughs> Not so much freedom. Okay, so what am I doing? Eavesdrop on the prisoner's conversation. Okay, well, uh, unfortunately I need to read a little bit ahead to figure out what I'm doing. Maybe never have to do a walking conversation objective again. All right. Let's try this. I'm telling you, he's planning to escape. We should get in on it. Yeah, and what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped hmm. it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah. Mason Probably just a shiv. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel weems, they call him. Stinky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. Even told me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! What for? You think that whore is out there pining for you? Wow. Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? Dang. No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella and the fella after him. You shut your mouth or I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah. Well, it wasn't very funny. Go to sleep. What's this? Wait, can I actually take a crap? even worse than it looks. Okay, but otherwise, yeah, I can take a crap. Nice. Pick that up and I'll have you toast in the pit. Okay. I am cool with the pit.
It's an interesting way to sleep. Get up! Where are we going? Execution. Stay out of trouble or you'll wind up in the pit. Alright, limit prison guard death to. Ow. Ow! What are you looking at, half breed? I'm a half breed you now. Understand am I? English? That it? Do I need to knock some sense into that thick head of yours? W why I'm following you? I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. Oh yeah, I have an email. I'm actually gonna um leave my prison cell for for a few. <sighs> I just want to be left alone right now. I just want to be alone right now. Yeah, of course she does. Annoyance, status. Nice, it's the 27th. Oh, okay, another one. Murderers. Okay, human hands. A mistake, wow. This is your fault. I just want to be alone right now. Right. Uh. I don't know what to think there, but. I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. Yeah, no, I figured out who it was. I might be able to learn this Mason game, maybe. Means. Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They and say I need a it. lot of things. I need you a bad time for games. A shame. <laughs> as I was hoping you might play one with me. I guess I don't have a choice. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? Nope. Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <laughs> nice. You misjudge. I am an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. I'm in trouble, aren't I? Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a nice place. As is what you ask of me. I was uh, trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Anyone I know? George Washington. The other yes, it really doesn't the matter if I win or lose. it would be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Why? Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this? George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Okay. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. 
Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you uh. understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. You're serious, aren't you? Yes. Very well. But it's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. Oh. But that loud finch stole it. it. Took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. Consider it done. Like that. Not being detected. Oh. Nice. That was a fail, if ever a fail. Out being detected. Yeah, that didn't work. I got detected and then some. Citizen mission acquired. Nice. Return to your cell. Ugh, my cell's upstairs. Of, of course it is. So why did they put me down at the bottom? If we're just free to roam right now. The day after. This key is useless. Gotta know how to work it, maybe. What are you looking at? Your mother. You in the market for husband? Yes. Does that get me out? Guessing Weems is back downstairs in his usual spot from the looks of it. Hey Weems, why does this key the not key do anything? Is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why not just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? He might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. Interesting. How do I reach the warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? 
<laughs> yeah. The warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. I love that, Take this plan to risk my can. life. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die. That shouldn't be an issue. So, so what's my goal? Fight the prisoners to get thrown into the pit. All right. We're not doing good. yourself a troublemaker, eh? Some time in the pits to cool your blood. Pickpocket the warden. Look at all of you, pathetic, dirty wretches. You're not but swine, suckling at the teats of civilization. That's Thieves successful. <laughs> and do you acknowledge this? Do Why you did repent he... and beg forgiveness? No. You elect instead to commit new and more terrible crimes inside what should be a place of rehabilitation. Why is he just standing there? You bide your time, awaiting the day of release that you might corrupt anew. The worst part is that the good people um, of New York are forced, quite literally, to pay for your crimes. He needs to leave. I don't want to escape the cell with him standing right there, or am I Where supposed to? Where do you think to? the money for this prison came from? Hmm? For your outfits? Our wages? I'm gonna guess outfits. Resources wasted because you refuse to contribute to society. You would rather dwell at its margins, living off the hard work of others. We'd be doing everyone a favor if we simply put you all down. Then our money might be spent on more productive things. I don't think he's moving. But it seems our current leaders lack the courage. Forget it. What the heck? I'm confused. Was he eventually going to leave or not? Need to take care not to raise the alarm. Well, Hickey that worked. That door. I don't if know why they didn't stop me more. Important prisoners, nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished. How about getting him free? Like that's what I would do. You know, that's just me, but. I'd rather not. Mm. 
Yeah, they didn't quite work the way I wanted to. Looks like we're going to do it. Nice. That was pretty good. It looks like Hickey escaped too, didn't it? <laughs> Not who you was expecting. Am I right? What have we was here? It? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know beyond all the lies Achilles feeds you and the tales you tell yourself? I know that the people wish to be free, and that men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. He stumbles and stammers through each engagement, making it all up as he goes along. His pedigree is pathetic, his military record even more so. Dang. I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults, so deficient are his merits. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Here's how it's gonna work. I hope there's no flies First in the ointment. you and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court, accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could pin the murder of uh, the warden on you too. You did kill him after all. And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Huh. Once that's all squared away, well then. <laughs> Interesting. All those years ago, the child in the forest. Yeah, you, you remember me now. I said I would find you. <gasps> and so you have. But not quite as you had expected, am I right? <sighs> you know, all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked. Ah, uh, but what's done is done. <clears throat> He remembers. I'm guessing we're going right into the next one, huh? So, I still can't do anything with New York. Ugh. Up! Up with you! I said get up! I'd rather not. Walk. Bye now. <laughs> I heard a weasel. Still not. <laughs> yeah, we're going to pause it quickly. Let's see what memory three is.
Alright. Back to this. Alright. Apparently this one's going to be a pain in the butt, too, because uh, there's no error for the optional objectives. Hello, Connor. Didn't think I'd miss your going away party, did ya? No, I was hoping. I hear Washington himself is going to be in attendance. Hope nothing bad happens to him. You said there'd be a trial. Oh, no trial for traitors, I'm afraid. Lee and Haytham saw to that. It's straight to the gallows for you. <laughs> I will not die today. The same cannot be said for you. That's enough! Keep moving! <laughs> nice. Guess I don't have a choice. Okay. Ow! Aww. I was hoping that would work. I just saw an assassin. Thank you, Achilles. You are not alone. And we give a cry when you need us. Forget about me. You need to stop Hickey. He's... Uh, up you go. Don't want to be late now, do we? You just had to be an hero, didn't you? You and Georgie both. Now you see what it gets you. A pine box and little else. Again, I'm not going to die this day. I told you this. Brothers, sisters, oh, oddly. fellow patriots. Several days ago, we learned of a scheme so vile, so dastardly, that even repeating it now disturbs my being. The man before you plotted to murder our much beloved general. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. What? Darkness and assassins are killing and just letting the bodies fall. Nobody and notices the falling bodies. No defense, Beautiful. Shows no remorse. And though we have begged and pleaded with him to share what he knows, he maintains a deadly silence. If the man will not explain himself, if he will not confess and atone, what other option do we have but this? He sought to send us into the arms of the enemy. And thus we are compelled by justice to send him from this world. May God have mercy on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Need to stop, Hickey. Go! Do not let Washington's bodyguards die. Yeah, it didn't quite work. In fact, that failed miserably.
Well, that didn't work. Not easy. It says that there's a running something, but I'm not I'm not seeing it. Well, I did one assassination, but got screwed on the second one. Closer, but still no cigar. Ugh. Optionals, gotta love them. Uh, I can tell you right now that I failed that one. <laughs> Supposed to be perfecting New York, and here I am failing in New York. No. Okay, I think I got it this time. I do not. Never mind. I actually did worse somehow. That was horrible. No! That sucked my balls. I, I love that he's not even running. I'm holding the fucking button, he's not even running. So, 
glad I can screw that up. That worked. Oh, yeah. kill one person. Damn it! Hickey is just so fucking fast when you have to kill two morons! How do you even do that? <laughs> yeah, doing great. That didn't work, but I think I, I think I have a good path, if I'm lucky. Maybe. You fucking asshole. I gotta get out of here. Pushes me. I know what I gotta do. I literally cannot run into anybody. Not a damn soul. Fuck you!
Fuck you too. Oh my god, I could have had it if he just would have... He would have just smacked his fucking target like he's supposed to. This is pissing me off. Yes. Yes. Oh, damn. Damn it. I thought I'd at least live to see another day. Shame. I want answers. Oh, shame. Why did Johnson try and buy my people's land? Why was Pitcairn targeting Adams and Hancock? What purpose would Washington's murder have served? Why does your order support the British? How should I know? The Templars, Lee, the big man, Haytham. They has the money. They has the power. That's the reason I threw him with them. That's the only reason. Sure, they have some sort of vision for the future, too. I didn't give a damn about any of that. They can sing their songs about mankind and its troubles. They can make their plans and spring their traps don't bother me none they paid me so i said yes uh. didn't bother to ask who or how or why didn't care you chose to side with men who would rob us of our humanity simply because it was more profitable what else yep. is there i'm not some blind fool who give up all i've got on principle what is principle anyway can you bring it to the bank Maybe. Don't look at me like that. We're different, you and I. You're just some blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Whereas I'm the type of guy who likes to have a beer in one hand and a tea in the other. A beer and a tea, Thing guys. is, boy, I can have what I seek. Had it even. You, your hands will always be empty. Oh, killed Hickey. At ease, man! At ease! I said, lower your goddamn... Ah, gun. Putnam. This man's a hero! Oh, the general can be so stubborn sometimes. Piffle, he said, when we warned him something like this would happen. Piffle! Stop. He wanted to kill the commander. Nearly killed you as well. He was a scoundrel. But still yeah, but there's still respect. Exactly. <laughs> You're nothing if not consistent. Where is Washington? <laughs> I need to speak with him. Bundled off as soon as your execution went sideways. He's likely on his way back to Philadelphia by now. And so am I. Something wrong? He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone. Uh... Putnam might be a ghost, just saying. New special outfit available at the manor. Prisoner outfit. Yay, full. Hickey's memento. Can I finally do some New York stuff? Or is that too much? It's quite impressive what you've accomplished. I guess still...
Okay. I guess follow Akil, please. Compliment? Is that a compliment? I'm sure the whole endeavor will end tragically. But to have come this far, well, it's more than I ever expected. The of course. The yearned for freedom but feared to grab hold of it. That fear is gone now. Thanks to you? No. This they did on their own. You diminish your role. But you have always been of humble heart. I do what is right. No, no more, more, no less. You nice. Cannot tell him. I have to. Otherwise, he will never be safe. He is safer not knowing. By planting the seeds of doubt, you threaten to topple his entire endeavor. If Washington is paralyzed, Charles Lee will strike. You'll cause the very thing you aim to prevent. Hunt the Templars as is your duty. Okay. But do not drag these men into it. And for the support of this declaration. This must be the Declaration of Independence, then, yeah. We must now all hang together. Yes. We must indeed all hang together. Or most assuredly, we shall all hang separately. Huh. <laughs> You are once more our savior. I must speak with the commander. He's gone to try and hold New York. The British intend to take it. I fear we'll need to recall our men from Quebec as well. It's one thing to declare our independence. Now, my friend, we must make it so. Memory synced. Sequence 8. Caged Wolf. 20G. Oops. All right, awesome. You are now incognito, Thomas Paine. And the Declaration of Independence, yep. Everything all right? Sean has located a second power source. I've asked Rebecca to charter a flight for us. Where to? Brazil. Brazil, nice. Do we just drive everywhere? Seriously? Oh wow, there's people. And I'm wanted. You there, Rebecca? Bad reception. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Well, glad to see that's working. Guess I'll try you back when I'm topside. Oh, yeah, I want to see this. Murder. International flight attempt murder national safety act or something. I'm gonna guess we go upstairs. Cause honestly, I, I don't know what to do. There's like no anything. There's guards at the very least. You copy now? Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our intel, the power source is being worn as a bracelet by some tycoon's trophy wife. We're working oh my. on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a Be VIP it. booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find a ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Steal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Just a little bit. Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. Bizete, por favor. Pode entrar.
Wow, Desmond's being nice. What a good guy. That doesn't look like normal security. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. I'm glad that he's like, well, that's a dick move. Because it really was. He chooses this. Or at least I do. Your target's definitely in the VIP area. The entrance is at the end of this concourse. You know, I don't really know what concourse is. So we're just going to pretend it's down this way. Great. They've set up a checkpoint. Mm. Stick close to the crowd and you should be okay. Or look for a way around it. Seriously, what is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? Troughs are time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. Uh, what if I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone, if you do. Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather not. I'm, I'm ready to take a massive, massive number two. Watch your back, they're on you. Really? Looks like I'm close. Shit. Another checkpoint. You're gonna have to find another way around. Security's too tight. Não me deixar entrar. Vou perder o emprego. Temos que verificar sua identidade. Well, I guess this worked. Trabalhei aqui há 15 anos e nunca vi nada como isso. Quem vocês pensam que são? Sugiro abaixar o tom de voz. Hey doggies. Olha, aconteceu só isso. A gente não queria que acontecesse. Tudo aconteceu. Sinto muito. I guess they don't care what I do. irmão, cara. A porra da minha irmãzinha. When you're better than all of Abstergo. Almost there, Desmond. She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side? Yeah, other side. That's more dicks. Is he seriously not going to see me? Okay. Use the catwalk to get across. It was the only way I was getting through. The cat. Oh my god. It is a cage match. That's awesome. I kind of just want to watch the match. No one's questioning that I just did this. Mm. I mean, I would have questioned some guy running across and jumping at me, but I guess that's me. Beautiful. <laughs> I think I gotta keep track of him. Yep. If he gets away with the artifact, we're screwed. You can't let that happen. Well, that was awesome. That didn't work.
I don't even know what I'm doing. I guess I don't have a choice but to beat the living crap out of him. Got him. And I just steal. I'm like, mine now. That's a bracelet, really? I, I call BS. Okay, head for the metro. I'll hold the train for you. Yep, hold the metro. That's not happening with gunfire. Yep. That's fine. I'll take some people. A few people going away ain't a bad thing. Okay. Let's try this again. You hold yourself. I'm out. Peace. snapped his neck. Why? Why did you do that? No, oh well, either way we escaped. So, that's awesome. Yeah, they're looking at me weird. Like, come on. I knocked cross out. Also, Daddy Dearest. Completed present stadium. Alright, another power cell. Awesome. We can get back to That's Connor not a bracelet, by ready, the way. Desmond, unless you want to plug in the power source first. I Up do. to you. So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you're exploring? Oh, they God, your head. Weird stuff towards the end. They're trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. It must have been hard for them. I worry about it, too. I mean, they say there's something in here that'll help us. But what is it? Why is it locked up if it's exactly what we need? I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous. Maybe they wanted to make sure only you could reach it. That's Maybe. the other question. What makes me so special? I guess we'll know once we open the door. That is a good question. Hey, I hope it's not uncomfortable for me to ask, but what happened with Lucy? I don't know. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. No, it's fine. I really don't know. I was talking to my dad about it. It's, it's hard to say. I mean, Juno definitely took control, but I think I agreed to it on some level. Huh. I think I let her in. No. <laughs> That's not right. It, it wasn't her. Not exactly. It, it was more like a, a, program. a program. Does that sound weird? It, it showed me things. What'd you see? That if I didn't stop Lucy, Abstergo would get the apple, and we'd all be dead. I, I guess... still don't understand why she turned on us. I'm sure she thought she was doing the right thing. I guess I'm glad we did what we did. I gotta get back to work. You might want to do the same. Sorry, Desmond. A little busy right now. Okay, anything else? Just check the laptop. The MMA night. Nice. Any new emails? Yes. American... 
politics on November 28th. God, and it's December 12th or December 21st. December 21st, 2012, that seems right. I don't know. Oh, okay. Alrighty, Sean. The Sean man. Ah, oh, there's there's my dad. Come here, dad. Dad, dad, come here. Dad, dad. But dad's got absolutely nothing to say. Damn you, father. Damn you. Oh well. Sean will have something to say, right? Oh, I, unbelievable. What's up? Your politicians are constantly referencing the Founding Fathers and insisting they must have been in support of one thing or another. I have never seen such a blatant disregard for history. That's just typical political propaganda. It's also dishonest and delusional. How can anyone claim to know what these people wanted based off scraps of paper and wishful thinking they're looking for intent what these men envision for our country and its future idealistic and unlikely i don't think most of your presidents and senators and judges care what the founders thought they just want to know how they can bend old words to achieve modern goals who cares if they were deists or theists or wanted a central bank why do people need the validation what should matter is what you as an individual, believe. And I guess. why you believe it. What, are we so insecure that we have to find 18th century letters to validate our beliefs? Oh, look, Mum, a dead man agreed with me. Maybe. If you transpose the letters in his shopping list, you can plainly see he was on my side. Jesus, Sean. It's a cynical way to look at it. Doesn't make it less true. Yeah, maybe. I'm trying to understand how men like Washington and Jefferson could dedicate their lives to the pursuit of liberty and equality, yet have no problem owning slaves. It's hypocritical in the extreme, and your history books make only passing mention of the subject, as if... Wait, as if did Washington own slaves? They had a war to win. I didn't Country's know they did. Country's future to secure. How could uh. they deal with all these issues at the same time? Spoken like a true apologist. We hear it today, too, that matters of civil rights and equality must wait. There are conflicts to settle, economies to salvage. What do any of these things matter if the people are not free and equal? All of them. I wish there was a way for us to share what we learn from the Animus with others. Imagine being able to accurately answer questions about the past or experience lost civilizations. But how would you cite it? We can't just reveal the machine's existence to the world. It's right. Why not? Desmond's right. It would be dangerous. And we still haven't found a way to manage the bleeding effect. Maybe when we're done saving the world, we can look into it. Even if we do manage to stave off the apocalypse, it's not like the Templars are simply going to disappear. I suspect our fight will continue long after this latest battle is finished. You would be correct. Oh, look at the time. What oh, doesn't time fly? Look, I think it's best we get you back in the Animus, hmm? Come on, Chop Chop, we need to find that key, Desmond. It's not going to happen with you out here, is it? Sure it is. I'm gonna talk, try to talk to my father again. Probably fail, but we'll give it a shot. Oh God, I just about fell to my dad. Dad, listen to me. Yes? No? I think that's a no. Well, fudge it. We'll try to put the second one in and see what happens from there. What is a fact? Is it fixed? Immutable. 
immutable? Certain in its existence and only awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. All right. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand more? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. Uh, In this okay. way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. Maybe. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but there was no way to maintain control, to direct the beam, to enthrall the world. Dang. To speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. Which was what? Kill the world? Guess we'll find out. And now we learn what the other thing was Our that was worse, right? Was to travel back to change the past, but we could not find a way. But forward, we could look forward. And so here we sought to see beyond ourselves and know what was to come. First, we watched to learn if our work would succeed. But the answer was always the same. So we moved on to other things. But she remained. The one you call Minerva. Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. I gotta agree, actually. I'm tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the nephew. Like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we look the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two year old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. <laughs> I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. Huh. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. It failed? Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits... Juno, we need to be careful. All right. Speaking of Miss Juno.
Yeah, I think I just screwed that up. Yeah, I did. Okay, that, that did not work the way I was hoping. down was the right way. Ah, uh, maybe there's up. Oh, wait. Okay, I think I figured it out. I mean, maybe I didn't? Nope, found it. Booyah. Tell me today. Whatever we want it to. Now my major question is, how do I get back? you there's something down here don't be daft i don't know maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them some kind maybe. of cryogenics or hibernation i mean how do we know what the hell they were doing down here they were working on a bunch of different solutions but nothing worked just went from one to the next and then i don't know they must have left at some point after the end I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. 
I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them, but not for you. Sealed to protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find huh. the key. The past will tell. Weird. Still. Yeah, my father's not too talkative, though. Alright, in we go, I guess. Oh, look at that. I found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. And then he's not... Ready when you are, Desmond. I see where this is going. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim... God, it's gonna be winter again. I hate winter. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions uh. you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. Ouch. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha! Declaration of Independence. Valley Forge. A naval axe. Officer sword. A double barrel pistol. And of course, new newspaper. A New York outfit, woo. Yeah, I know where I'm at. Johnstown. Oh. Okay, there's there's still a lot of stuff going on here though. Thomas Jefferson. Is it just repeating itself now? I think it is. 
Well, yeah, because he's dead. Right. And a new email. Alright, so we're still working on that, I see. I do not want to do that yet. I want to go to New York and, uh... Do that stuff, but I think my perfection of New York is something completely different at this point. It's fine. We've done. All right, I suppose. So the first, like, I swear, hour to something completely different. Oh, good on the homestead mission. Well, at least it's close. Alright. Let's go. And Thomas Hickey's dead, so that's a plus. I hate the snow. Connor, you uh, have a minute, my friend? Yeah, not really, but the proper tools got gotcha. you. Is it coming, Big Dave? You make any progress on the knife? I would like to give it to Miriam soon. The steel Norris smelted is something else. I've rarely seen such fine metal. The trouble is my old tools aren't hard enough to work it. The ones I need aren't hard to find. A shop or two in New York sell them at a good price. I oh, do New it York. myself, but with the regulars after my head, I'll stay here safe and sound if I can. I have matters to attend to in New York. I will see to it the next time I journey there. Sounds good. Find both pieces of Dave's new hammer in New York. Gotcha. Alright, we'll go to the manor to check out. Uh, it'll give time for the mission to complete. But at the same time, uh, if we see anybody, I didn't want you to do that, but whatever. Yeah, it's winter. There's, like, nothing going on anymore. Oh, 
Holy crap, there's like 500 beavers here. Yama. Yama. Sorry, beavers. Yama. Yama. Ah, we're almost to the homestead. I see the hatchet is still in there after all this time. Should be like ten of whatever we don't have. Nice. Wow. We'd be missing the item now. All right, sure. Yeah, I thought so. Ooh, insect repellent. Well, do. shows which I have uh, help me out here right we, we we still can't do that one yeah I know
Ah, drunk it gonna be. All right. Oh, I know there is a new one. One pin comes memento and hickeys. All right, now I gotta get out of here so I can uh, do his thing. Yeah, no, we're still good with Pitkin. Uh, that looks like it for here right now. I'm gonna go back here quickly to this shop. I'm gonna get some things done. <sighs> All right. Hi, pups. Well, I know what we need to do. You want to be petted, don't you? There you go, buddy. You good now? Okay, well, won't we consume my balls? Cool. Please know again. Uh, I'll be right back to buy some stuff, dude. Still like it. So, we're let it go. 
kind of lost track though. Did we? Uh, yeah, no, they're still. Ah. In Boston. Crafting sequence nine, so I can go there now. By the officer's sword. A lot of money. Oh. That's in New York. I'm almost out of money. Thank God, because I need maps. Like, I really, really, really need those, uh, more money. The naval stuff will be coming soon. So there should be a treasure box or two, right? Maybe. like two treasure boxes so we'll go ahead and take care of them I need more money anyways I'm going broke big time broke Oh boy. Oh, is it in the fort again? No. Right? No ish.
All right. Well, we're not doing so good here. I guess I did forget to see what weapons were stronger, but... I don't think that's how that worked, but... Whatever. Out of the swords, what is better? There's the hanger sword. There's I guess it isn't the worst. A boarding axe, gotcha. Seven fifteen. There's that thing up there. Which I've got to assume is for north. We should be able to start New York just a little bit. I better check to see if the contracts are still going. Okay, I should freeze to death out here in all honesty, but he won't. Okay. Seven of eight, and then this should be the last one here, which means next sequence, we should have every chest in Boston. Maybe. It's hard to say, honestly, but... Yeah, except that's not what's happening, and you know it. I see you. I want you, fool. I want you. I don't think he has anywhere to run to, in all honesty. No. Yeah, it's still not a lot of money. But hey, apples. Apples. 
I might have killed a civilian. <sighs> I'm guessing it's going to be on the ship. I know it's been liberated. It's been a lot of time doing it. Wonder if I can double assassinate. District French coat pistol seven fifty and notoriety. And we'll go there next. Check it out. I don't think I can buy the crap anyway. All right. I should be able to get the other one soon. No, we don't. He just won't stop climbing flagpoles. It's fine. It's fine. Well, we're not doing too, too bad right now. I want the accounting books. Honestly, once I make one of everything, okay. Let's 
I'm gonna call it good then. We got two minutes. We got enough time to start something maybe in New York. Maybe. Hello, New York. New York, New York, it's a hell of a town. Yeah, we'll go there. Oh, good. I got the underground. That I'm not ready for, mind you. Holy crap, there's a lot of homestead missions. Alright, we're gonna try to catch the page. Trying is very hard, in all honesty. I think it's because that's a shop, is what's going on. Gotcha. Definitely makes me feel good about myself. Guess we'll go to the store. We'll finish up buying the stuff. And we'll also probably, yeah, we'll call it good after this. Hope I have enough money to buy the stuff, or I'm in trouble. Oh, 20 and 30? Fudge, yeah. Okay, so... Return the hammer pieces to Big Dave. So this is where we're gonna end it. On a wall path for that deserter. What's his name? Big man or some such thing? Big Dave. Did in a whole unit escaping, they say. Mm -hmm. Dave's in for a rough ride, seems to me. That was it? Okay, sure. Whatever. There's a lot to do. A lot. lot to do. But we're going to end it by going back to Dave. I don't know where it is, so we're just going to go there. I wasn't too far off. I knew it was somewhere around there. Might as well finish the mission that we started before it was three. And we'll save in New York, unless there's another homestead mission, in which case we'll let it go. Yeah. I have the tools you requested. Ah, excellent. I'll get right to work. 
Norris has been hanging around pestering me about his knife. I bet. I thought you should know I overheard some regulars talking. They are looking for you. I imagine they are. I'll have to face them sometime or another. Nice, too. Weapon blades. Flints. Belt buckles. Okay, right now, no, there is not any more. Ah, I gotta go to the manor one last time. Next time, we are definitely bound for New York, and uh, I think I think he just got out. Something, Dan. That wasn't what I meant, but screw off. Whew. Yeah, he's inside too. I think everybody's in. Lovely morning. Yeah, I'm going to show you lovely morning. Whatever. Oh, look, beavers. Yama. I kind of want to kill the other one because I feel like this was his mate, husband, but you no, know, maybe not. Or it was the family and there's just huge fat. Oh, okay. Yama. I want to be ready when uh, the time comes. When I don't need to collect this stuff anymore, I'm selling it for a sh ton of money, I hope. Hunting should get me everything I need when the time comes. The naval and... When naval comes, I might have to sell everything, but that's a different story for a different time. Nope, not those things.
Ugh. Lance Woodworker 2 and Ellen Taylor, which we don't even have the Taylor yet, of course, we don't have the freaking Taylor. Wait, what is it? Oh, plows. All right, and we will go ahead and leave it here. When? We start up the next stream. We'll be in Dead Bay Daylight, gaining the next tier level, which, again, I apologize that it crapped out earlier. And hopefully some Assassin's Creed after that. Maybe get done with Sequence 9. But, until then...